Hey gang, it's been a while, but, well, we are doing Underworld Gates, and, oh jeez, has this one already filled up? Not quite. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so, let's go ahead and get in on the Underworld Gates, have some fun with this. Um, there really is no much, not a whole lot of strategy left anymore with Underworld Gates, however, I'm still going to talk about the Underworld Gate strategy, just for the sake of this video in case... Your alliance is young, fresh blood, not the highest stats, and you're still struggling with the Underworld Gate. So, with that aspect, here is the strategy that I like to utilize. So, here we have our biggest player. So, he's going to launch the first rally. And then we're going to have another, the second strongest, so let's say that Blondie here, second strongest, she would launch the se uh, and then another rally at the exact same time. Now, while those two rallies are going, two minutes later, we're going to have all the rest of the players around start launching rallies in a basis that is going to be offset from each other. So every two minutes, we will have two additional new rallies. And then after the first rally point, Pyro and Blondie, who have the strongest rallies, will jump across, each joining a different rally. There's two different rallies at each two-minute point. So Pyro would join one, Blondie would join the other. And this will allow our strongest players to be able to get the most damage in on the portal, the Underworld Gate, as quickly as possible. And this will assist in being able to defeat higher level Underworld Gate monsters that your alliance has been struggling with. Now, when it comes around um, to the reset, where after all those rallies have gone and now it would have been KVK Pyro and Blondie's turn to go ahead and set new rallies. Then you would want to set, find in the second row the two strongest players to take over in that regard for that set. Now, you can also allow the people in this first rally to join some of the other rallies that are going along only if in that five minute stretch, you know, six minutes including March time, their rally that they need to start is not going to be starting. Now, it probably won't happen. However, perhaps on the very first march, we could get the final person in the rotation to join, like Pyro and Blondie's rally. And that's really all there is to the strategy of launching rallies. Now, there is some other strategies that one can utilize, including um, just buffing up. So doing some attack and doing march capacity buffs, as well as using temporary wonders if you have any. But another large thing that you can utilize in order to prepare yourself, besides, uh, again, your talents, um, some of the borders like that you can put onto your uh, character name, but we can talk about our airship. So airship abilities, we can utilize some of our uh, PVE, like cavalry attack and distance attack. Those would probably be the only two that I would focus on other than march capacity. And then, besides all of this, the biggest thing that we want to look at is our march setup. Never, never, never send any artillery in any march on um, the Underworld Gates. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Go utilize Revenge Games PvE calculator. You can utilize that calculator twice. Do it with um, artillery for when you're attacking you know, kingdom threat, and do one without artillery for all of the other events that you would not want to utilize artillery. And now, all we have to do is when you're going through and telling them, hey, these are all of the different, um, this is all of the different trick tiers that I have, just don't select any for artillery, and it won't utilize any calculations for artillery troops. And you'll be able to have the best possible troop formation without having any artillery in there. So let's go ahead and we'll, let's see how these two first marches do and then we can you know reassess what we want to do for a plan. So right off of the bat very first march takes off 15 percent and that's not even the strongest rally so let's see how a whiskey does and then we'll compare that to Pyra's March. 
Okay, so another 14, 15%. And then right off the bat, 30. Huge march. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get into another one. Well, that one's marching. Alright, so let's see how we did. 723,000 damage. That is insane. I did 383,000. Now, another thing is, the best way, honestly, to get the most amount of damage for your biggest player is if in they if they are in a rally by themselves. That just that's the honest truth of the matter. If you are in a rally by yourself, you will always do the most amount of damage. Other people in that march will lower your abilities. Um. I'm not really sure why or how that works, but that's just how it does. Um, so let's go ahead and get back into the war rally. Alrighty. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Um, if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, yeah. This is Cam Cowboy doing some uh, Underworld Gates. We're going to be making a video on Night Siege coming up, so stay tuned for that video. That will be right after this. Um, not really sure when I will be posting that up, though. But, yeah. Thank you all for stopping by.